We expected the worst, and we got less than the worst. What's your read? Well, that's exactly right. You know, uh, Elon Musk and the management team were there to tell us the sky was not falling. I mean, people had expected really bad results and even worse guidance. And look, they came out and said they cut prices, which everyone knew a couple of weeks ago in response to demand weakness. And guess what? Orders responded. I mean, like you played the clip earlier, uh, the orders were the strongest year that they've seen in the company's history. And importantly, what they said was that despite these cuts, gross margins would hang in there. I mean, they're going to be down in 2023, according to guidance. But there were fears out there that they would hit the, the uh, mid-teens and below 20. And the CFO came out and said, we're not going to break 20 percent in auto gross margins, which was a welcomed message. And that means that our earnings for next year really weren't impacted, or this year, I should say, really weren't impacted. And where we have a lot of confidence is in our out-year number of $11 plus in non-GAAP earnings in 2025. They noted that their order rate was the strongest it's ever been. It is two times production capability. So more people want a Tesla that can get a Tesla. So why have they been cutting prices? Well, if you recall, at the end of last year, the stock acted pretty terribly, to put it mildly, and that was in response to what we believe was were indications of demand weakness. It all started in China. There were several data points that towards the end of the year, uh, demand fell off, and then that weakness crept into the U.S. and into Europe and other parts of the world. So the company had to respond, and as such, they cut prices, and lo and behold, the market responded, consumers responded, and orders picked up dramatically in the month of January. And like I said, the people were really, really worried what profitability would look like. And it's not going to be as bad as people thought. Yeah. No, and, and I don't cover the auto sector, George. I like cars. I don't cover, I don't know the, the margins of Ford or Toyota or GM. Maybe you do. But if I'm looking at a, at a gross margin of 25.9%, that doesn't sound horrible. How, how is Tesla's margin actually sh stacking up? Well, they have some of the best operating margins in the auto industry. And what's really, really important about this story is that as they cut price, what they're doing is seeding the marketplace with forward upgradable units. So think about it. They make about you know, 25, 30 percent gross margin, which is about, you know, call ten to fifteen thousand dollars per car. But when they sell you a car, there's the option that you'll upgrade that with full self-driving software, which means that they can more than double that gross margin just based on you clicking a button and buying their full self-driving software. So it's really a brilliant move. We call it their razor, razor blade model, right? They're selling you the razors. They cut price to get more razors in the marketplace, but they hope that you buy that razor blade to double their gross margin after you've bought the car. It's, it's a very powerful model they put in place.